hey, this is how uh, um gonna be solving this range problem. Also, a pretty easy problem in the erase chapter. Just part of my prep series. So, let's get into it. Write a static method named range that takes an array of integers as a parameter. It returns the range of values contained in the array. The range is defined to be the difference between the largest and smallest element. If the largest element is 15 and smallest is 4, the range is 12. If the largest and smallest values are the same, the range is 1. The following table shows some calls to your method and their results. So here, the largest value is 8 and the smallest value is 2. Um, so 8 minus 2 is 6, but the range will be defined plus 1. So that will be 7. Here we have 24. That is 31 minus 8 plus 1. So this is pretty simple. What we're going to do, we're going to store initial values for the min, the max value of the array, the min value of the array, and the range. We're going to just declare that. And then we're going to just do some calculations in a for loop and get to our value. So public static, what are we returning? A range, int, and this is called range. <clears throat> we take an array of integers as a parameter. All right, so let's first initialize our variables. So int min equals array at zero. And we're not going to make any assumptions about the array. Um, so also, I'm going to, oh, well, they did say we can assume there's at least one element. But as I said in every other video, to create good habits, I'm always going to check if array is null. Um, throw a new illegal argument exception exception this looks wrong exception all right and then you should not make any assumptions they could be extremely large very small you should not modify it okay and then let's initialize the max value equals array at zero as well and then we're going to just declare the range variable all right, so now we're going to traverse through the array, starting at the first element in zero based index. So the second element, basically. So for int i equals one, we're going to traverse so long as i is less than array dot length, i plus plus. And we're going to reset these values um, based on the current value we're on. So min equals, or we're going to reassign these values, I should say, math dot min of min and array at i max equals math dot max of max and array at i. So this will just reassign the values based on the highest value we see and the minimum value we see. Um, so that's all that. That's all we need to do in the for loop. Once we break out of this for loop, um, we want to assign our range value. So range equals max minus min and we can see that they added plus one here and we can return our range and let's run this nice so i hope that made sense i used to do a lot of if else statements now i use the math class it's much more elegant i think it's a good practice to pick up to be honest anyways hope this made sense